Hi, I'm Carol Henschel, and I teach here at Whittafield, and I've been part of this garden since we started it three years ago, which would have been summer 2012. We started that year, and we had a vision of starting throughout that school year before the summer, but then we really, really started to dig and remove all the sand and put in soil and move rocks around in the summer of 2012. I just think there was a space here that was not being used and it wasn't nearly as pretty as it could be or as productive as it could be and Miss Etches and I just had this vision for it and of course I saw vegetables being grown and she saw flowers being grown so uh, we got together. I think the reason now for it is just to provide a nice space for the kids to come out and enjoy it. Uh, from my end of course I want to grow stuff that people can eat. Four zucchinis just got pulled off their stems today and that's very exciting for me. In the summer we give most of what we grow to the food bank if it's not preservable so anything that's fresh like the kale and the lettuce and many of the herbs. With the rest of the stuff what we're trying to do is preserve it so that the cats in the kitchen and the hospitality programs can use it in the fall. I was most surprised by the kids who were committed and just really liked being out here. Kids that maybe you wouldn't expect that would like gardening and their level of enthusiasm for it. The construction people helped to build the gazebo and the flower boxes. The art teachers um, cooperated with the murals and the paintings. We have about six kids who are volunteering pretty regularly. One who's here every day and then others who come and go. I think just the level of enthusiasm and commitment was surprising in a very good way.